Pizza time. Welcome back to Pizza Time. All right, we've got to we've got to figure out um, how to get out of this situation here. Kerner just fell into the lava after being turned into some kind of weird elk moose demon thing. Uh, so we got to figure out how to get out of this. You don't need aura calcum. You need a miracle. Nonsense! I'll start with Plato's number. Can we shoot the trick? Now position yourself. March now. That's better. Here goes. Hang on a second. Okay, let's get it over with. Is your mind composed? Anger and resentment may spoil your chances. No, forget it. Calm down, man. Please, Professor, don't make me do this. Look on the bright side. You'll be leaving your cares behind. Hmm. Let's see here. Ah, none of these sound good. Listen, what if Plato's error went the other way? How do you mean? I think this is gonna. Uh, this will give me. Well, this will probably kill me and end the game. But uh, if it does, at least you'll see one of the. Uh, the weird, failed ending type things. Basically, the really, really, really bad ending. You can't buy God for a couple of beans. Alright, Chon, you decide. How many beans should be used? No beans, you crazy old man. Come now, Doctor. Where's your scientific curiosity? For your sake, I hope this doesn't work. Why not? Once I'm a god, I'm sending you straight to hell. I'm offering you immortality! Is that the thanks I get? You ever hear the term angry god? Wait till you see me. Hang on! Perhaps I haven't thought this through. You want to go fast. You're scheming against me in spite of my generosity. Well, you won't get the upper hand that way. Stand aside, Jones. And I think... 98? Yep, that's the end. 99? One hundred beats! Prepare to feel my wrath! Oh god, here we go. Yeah, this is the end. Good ending, anyway. Not for him, but for us. Ha 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 Sucks for those guys. How did he get a hundred beads in there so quickly without the thing turning on? Or maybe it only turns on if somebody's in the middle. Yeah, yeah, that's probably what it is. Okay. So yeah, that was this is Indiana Jones, the Fate of Atlantis best ending. Uh hurry. Sophia lives, uh, doesn't become doesn't stay possessed. She doesn't stay in the dungeon. Kerner dies, Uberman dies, and we get a silver submarine. Not bad, huh? Can you pilot a sub? I'm about to find out. Oh, trust me. We can pilot a sub. It'll just take like an hour to figure out where the hell we're going. At least if I'm piloting it anyway. So yeah, that's uh, Atlantis for you.
I guess they're subscribing to the it was a volcano that uh, destroyed the city theory. If Atlantis existed, I personally don't think it ever did. You know, a lot of my discoveries seem like tall tales even to me. At least there's some evidence this time. Yep, I'm sure people will go and be able then to... Again, maybe not. Hmm, yeah, about that. Yowza. What was that for? To ease the pain. So, folks, that was Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was kind of stressful at some points, because honestly, it's been like 17 years since I played this game. Uh, but no, I really, I really liked it. Um, I had a lot of fun. This has been kind of a sloppier Let's Play. I had to do a lot of pausing. I had a few interruptions, but, you know, that's, that's life. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... And, uh, I know I certainly did. And, uh, so yeah, Indiana Jones, Fate of Atlantis never got a point-and-click adventure game sequel. Um, I believe that, um, there was a, uh, the Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, which I think I said earlier was a action-adventure game. Not a true adventure game. Uh, true adventure games kind of died in, I want to say, like, 95, 96. Um... Although they have had a nice revival lately with uh, Sam and Max um, by Telltale Games and the Walking Dead series as well. Uh, although I hear those aren't necessarily pure point-and-click adventure games, they're they're more like uh, they're more linear, I suppose. But yeah, it's all good. I'm just glad to see them living on in some capacity. So yeah. Um, I've done Day of the Tentacle, Sammy Max Hit the Road, and Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis now. Um, not sure which one to do next. I'm thinking about doing Full Throttle. Um, I might do The Dig at some point. Uh, although I never did finish that one back in the day, so if I did, it would be the only one of these I've never actually finished. So that would be that would definitely be interesting. James Wood. Oh, James Wood. I thought I said James Woods. I was like, he worked on this game? Uh, but yeah, uh, damn shame we never got a real sequel to this. Uh, there were a few fan projects in the works um, to make true sequels, but they just never panned out. Uh, one of them got a demo, um, but it uh, never finished, and it's been several years since that received an update. So, Fate of Atlantis is where it ended uh, for, for these kinds of games, as far as Indiana Jones goes. Um, but... You know, it's still a damn fine game. It's a really good story. I think certainly better than Crystal Skulls ever was. And, uh, yeah. Steven Spielberg and George Lucas look for Andy's return in an all-new adventure. Perhaps a much, perhaps as a much younger man. And that was the tease that we were going to get a new game. But we never did, sadly. Anyways, that was Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis, and this was Pizza Time. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be making more videos. Later!